What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we have been inter intercepted by a Persian force. So let's go take them out. We have a significant cavalry advantage, so I will be looking to try and kill as many musketeers as possible. So let's take them on. Um, but yeah, this they have one unit of cavalry, but I have one unit of camels rather, and I have but I have Boku. Uh, skirmish cavalry, so we'll be, we will be able to do some good damage to them uh, on the way into the merge, and hopefully we will come out of it in reasonable enough shape, so that when we pursue the retreating enemy, we can annihilate as many men as can be found. Let's take our 12 pounders, deploy them probably to the rear, somewhere, somewhere way back. They're going to do counter battery fire automatically. We're going to set up a giant infantry line because if we deploy if we deploy one unit deep we may be able to surround their army potentially because the AI tends to kind of double down and potentially deploy in a slightly shorter line. Let's find out. Let's make sure my skirmishes are at fire will off so they don't kill anyone. Okay. Give them orders to everyone orders to just push up quickly into the enemy frontage. My artillery's opened up already. Cavalry on this front, trot forward, cavalry on the right, including my general also trot forward. Potentially run my skirmish cavalry forward so we can try and intercept their camels on the right flank. Does mean our cavalry on the left is going to be quite free. Let's somewhat assume where they're going to go. Set my light infantry up there. They can pick off some camels. My militia will provide a certain amount of cover. They're going to run into the forest, try to see if we can lure them in. They are camel gunners. General, stay where you are. My light infantry engaging. My dragoons fired. My desert warriors are going to open fire. Get my my twelve pounders to engage enemy infantry. Looks like we might actually be the ones that are overextended. But I'm hoping if we mop up the camel gunners, get my light infantry up front. Yeah, the Kizilbashi Musketeers are quite close, but they're not going to be too much of a danger. Keep my Dragoons a bit further back. Fire it will on. So let's send my cavalry to chase down those Camel Gunners. They will likely not be enough. They're probably not going to make them route completely. But I want to start wrapping around it looks like we're going to create the mobility we want on the right flank so I'm going to want to start doing this get my desert militia there. my camel my cavalry are enough to chase down these camel gunners to make sure they keep routing Withdraw my Cheval Leger, my Colonial Infantry, advance. You are just about able to engage the enemy on the flank. Okay, scatter my cavalry about. We just gunned down a bunch of my general's bodyguard. See, this is the thing with skirmish cavalry, you to be real careful. Real careful about where they go. You're definitely just running the wrong way. 
You may as well fire at will now, because you're generally quite free. Skirmishes are ready to rock and roll. Cease fire, engage the Kizobashi at range. We're seeing some enemy routing. Not enough. Bayonet charge. Drive my cavalry forward through the gap. Run, fire it will off. Excellent. You can chase down the 24th. That means these guys can form a more robust left flank and allow my cavalry to drive through the center. Begin their attacks. Newman charge the Kizilbashi in the rear. Same with this regiment of dragoons. They get they're shattered, they're shaken, or they're wavering rather from my general charging. Get my general to push on towards the centre. You guys are ready to face off against those Kizilbashi units. You men aren't actually able to engage, so shuffle you forward a little bit. My gunners can lob shells in on the left flank. Okay, let's keep driving my troops on the right forward. To be honest, you guys can probably deploy like so. You guys run straight down there? I guess not, no. You can see rocks exposed like this. Usually that's a hard limit. It appears they are quite determined to pursue my cavalry, which I understand, but at the same time, you have a clear threat. Why are you not dealing with it? So we're massing our firepower on the right flank quite nicely, Maybe including my native African infantry, doing some good work. Okay, my cavalry can withdraw to a certain degree. Oh, you don't want to push too hard. You guys might want to bolster that flank. General, get out of there. That infantry recovered. That general's probably going to die. That is the typical way of things. So the Afghan hillmen cannot be long for this world. Come on, break, damn you, break. Pivot. You guys, the Regiment of Dragoons, fire it will on, cease fire, pour a volley in. Excellent, so I can send the bulk of this infantry around. So, but here, get you guys, it's probably too many. Pivot to face off against the 23rd. Dragoons, fire at will, pour a volley into the 23rd. They're already being engaged by my light infantry. So they are determined to chase me down. Yeah, they are wavering. They may they may break us. This unit probably will escape because the last unit will make it. You're gonna charge the sixth in the rear. You wanna charge them from the front. We need to really start driving this advantage on the right that we have forward. Way too many assets here, currently engaging 23rd. So let's send my Dragoons in. Let's begin. Well, actually, you guys aren't even. Oh, my militia are out of range. Well, they're out of ammunition, actually. 
Human push up, militia push up, general get over here to help support the main fight. This was a bit of a gamble because is Abashi are quite strong and it looks like they are actually going to see off my cavalry. Guns engage the 41st. There you go, pull the cavalry off. You try and engage the general's bodyguard. Okay, there we go. They're pushing forward towards my musket arm troops, but my other units getting into position. You're going to chase down the 41st. Neiman pivot and reload. These two units are going to form up on the other side of that block of infantry. These colonial lights are going to not deploy stakes. Follow light infantry behaviour procedures. Gunners engage the 6th. So we're normally going to get the surround off, but we are getting a significant number of enemy units trapped in an engagement in which they do not really want to fight. You are at risk from misses. Get these dragoons over here. They're getting very tired. You're still doing good work. It's the 41st. Many men are falling, but they managed to rout. Bring, uh, those dragoons did route. There's not very many of them left, which is actually fair enough. Go on, colonial line. They're point blank range, they're engaging not with firing drills. But we are, damn it. Let's push them back. Remain and reload, because you may engage the 40th. We can just open up on the enemy position. As desired. Looks like they're probably going to break. Reload! You're going to be hiding. My gunners can't really engage that block. So you're going to march up and fire into the rear of the enemy position. These units... Will everyone begin pivot towards the new threat? Bring these dragoons in. Make it hit the 15th. Because they're the only unit that's actually currently providing any resistance. So a break there would, make, would be a big deal. I could bring my general's bodyguard in. They're wavering. Broken. Yeah, there we go. So now, these units they've got here are actually coming over towards the centre. In response of my cavalry charge and my overall superiority. These units cease fire. Let's run my dragoons directly through this unit ceasing fire. Let's get on with pushing up the troops. Lots of redeployment, lots of micro. Is it the most efficient? Probably not, but eh. there we go. So this unit of Chevaux Leger. Keep engaging. Deploy to pursue them. The unit I've left behind is my There's a Warriors, but they've run out of ammunition very quickly. Get my other unit of Dragoons committed into the fight as quickly as possible. To be honest, for the most part, it's going to be over pretty rapidly. Keep... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Send my Light Infantry to pursue them. General's bodyguard can also help everyone else. I mean, we are going to continue. Everyone else cease fire. Oh. 
Gunners cease fire. Everyone else commit to destroying the enemy. As many men as we can kill. That would be a tremendous outcome. We're never going to kill uh, entire units. There's just too many men retreating. have a good go. Especially units like this, because they've oh they're there dropping rapid. Now they did make it. Yeah, decisive victory, but we did knock seven bells out of each other. I mean the, the exchange ratio is pretty good, but yeah, all of my units are quite depleted. So back you go into the desert. My army can replenish. I mean, we might auto resolve a continuation. No, we can't get there yet. Let's repair this. We've built a church school, have we not? We have. So we don't need two because we knocked one down here at Mosul. Everyone else is still on the move. Yerevan's still building basic infrastructure. You're going to still. Well, you're going to be. I think you, you might be advancing straight to um, Esfahan. But the other fight we need to do is up here in the north. You're going to push here and then attack Artur Revnik. Lots of Russian militiamen. So let's engage them. We have howitzers that can deploy quick lines. Hopefully we should be able to knock some uh, significant holes in their line. Yeah, we've got this, this battle to fight. A couple of other armies to move around. And we're going to want to make sure we keep investing in our lovely European economy. Snow battle. This favours the Russian. Gunners. It's a very slight rise at the back. Howitzers can be much closer. We are going to be on the offensive. So as usual, line infantry centre. We can do a guard infantry and a Jaeger on one flank. The Jaeger may end up going into the warehouse. Or the house. It very much looks like a warehouse to me. Two guards and a Jaeger on the right flank. And we're going to give them a regiment of cuirassiers on the left. We're going to get the sharpshooters and the light horse. are going to push around the, the town. General in the centre. Let's get ready to rock and roll. not going to be quick enough but I would like to to knock some gaps in their cavalry force well, I don't know oh, some one of them's gone for the artillery we have some enemy cavalry push forward my light cavalry sharpshooters my Jaeger get into the house make ready Ceasefire. Hussars commit. Sharpshooters advance. The right flank we managed to repel them anyway. Same story with the regiment of horse. So the garrison guards advance. Don't care about the general's bodyguard. They can push if they want. Let's get ready. My Jaegers are going to open up on the 10th Regiment of Dragoons. Counter charge them with my Cuirassier. Push my infantry flank up. Positioning's not very good. Quick climb uh, ranged infantry. You might engage the militia. Let's give them a very specific order to do that. Glorious quick climb coming in. Oh, there's my garrison guards that got hit by the general's bodyguard. Garcia push up. Got a unit of line infantry that needs killing. Push 
my Jaeger up. They'll be okay. This flank I'm a bit concerned about, so let's start dropping some quick climb on these melee troops. You can engage the enemy infantry. Push up the right flank. I don't care if their militia engages us. We're going to get some kills off against the 91st. The general's bodyguard has been repulsed. Gonna have to ch Actually, no, don't. Don't charge the militia. That would be foolish. Especially when we have... This is why we have howitzers. Hussars may, or oh, they, they are against Guard of Cheval. Okay, these Jaeger push up. Curacier keep engaging the 91st. See, their militia are still advancing. Oh, well, they will. Oh, they will retreat. See, there's going to be a bit of friendly fire here, but I think it's worth doing. Some guards push up. Push up, take the battle to the enemy. Take the high ground. That's my lifeguards. I was like, lifeguards? Jaeger, what are they doing there? Okay. No, don't engage them, shoot them. Engage the Vibioni Streltsy alone. Get some get all my howitzers to focus via the first horse guards. I mean they're gonna be gone. They're gonna be done for surely. Focus via the horse guards and it's worked. We've managed to repulse them. Militia did make it into combat. Mosars engaged the 12 pounders. Howitzers all engaged the 6th. All my guns engaged the regiment of horse to the rear. The enemy centre has crumbled. We can storm that enemy hill. Take the enemy gun position. Now the militia is strat shattered. Go for the 11th. This is a bit curious because these are skirmish cavalry. Yeah, they're going down. Get my hussars to nail it all the way back. Same with my general bodyguard. Come over here. They're light cavalry. They like running. You guys are you guys are squaring off against my garrison guards, so I'll back them every day. Engage them in the open battlefield. Oh god! Danger close quick line. Switch to round shot, engage targets to the rear. You men storm up into point blank range. Form a nice little cauldron. Commit my general and my hussars to fight to try and protect my sharpshooters. It was it, it was not going to go well. Sending sharpshooters against melee infantry, even though they're only militia. There we go. Kill the few men. Hopefully the charge of the hussars coming in will clinch it for us. There we go. Focus on killing their regiment of militia. Oh, it says, quick climb. Focus on the 91st regiment of line. Because these devils are dead to withstand us. And my foot artillery engage as well. Interesting firing drills. A good hit, though. 
I've deliberately deployed my infantry such that when the howitzer shots come in, even if they overshoot, they won't kill my men. Yes, there we go. Dead Russians. We're going to end it there. Whew, because <laughs> it's a pretty good victory. How many men have they got left? 489. That's in. That will be a chase them down and auto resolve battle, I think. Cool. Then this fellow, Sigmund. Sigmund? Sigismund Steinheil. Steinheil? Steinheil. Let's go and cover this bridge to the east of Moscow. Let's get to Governor's Mansion. Let's get better roads. Let's drop a couple of upgrades here. Mr. Farber is going to push against Ust. Not going to make it this turn. My spy is going to push on towards Kazan. All these troops to the south will move as much as they can. So let's drop a few upgrades here. I mean, Ardabil is a bit exposed. I suppose that could be where you go. Because you've got a full army here. We can pull one army out. The capital. Recruit general. Cast and Cray. Bring them out to cover the bridge. Although they could potentially run around us. Actually, let's not do that. Can't recruit too much interesting stuff from a from Baghdad at the moment. That's being repaired. Sigmund, you know, you've already got your orders. Okay, we do have a battle over here. I see that would be good to sort out. Actions here. I mean, we've got a, there's a lot of battles we're going to fight this turn, so that's why I shouldn't spend too much money on infrastructure, because we may not need to. We may have to spend it all on uh, replenishments. Let's take the city of Ayasi away from the Russian devils. And if this works, the army to the south that's currently on the modern day Romania border can be sent east towards Crimea. I think that would be quite a good outcome there. Then we can begin threatening Kiev and Moscow from the southwest. So it's safe to say that the Russian bear that's built up considerable force in the west has uh, neglected his rear areas and he's now been outflanked. So I'm going to deploy one unit of heavy horse guard artillery. The other is going to stay limbered up. We have a Polish contingent, but I'm well actually to be honest I think it's actually quite a small contingent. We do have, well mostly we have lots of Russian troops but my Jaegers on the right is a bit of a Jaeger bra big brigade. Put a heavy cavalry there for protection. Oh, heavy cavalry and hussars. Let's put my Freikorps and my Dragoons on the left, even though terrain's not the best. So at least with skirmishing they could do some good. You know what? You're going to deploy. Enemy <laughs> Wear right on cavalry. My infantry wants to storm forward. Because we are against a lot of mortifier. Let's push a particular unit forward. Oh, my lifeguards. Uh, lifeguards push up on the left flank. Okay, this unit run, this unit walk. Okay, might be a being a bit might have been a bit keen. We get their troops uh cavalry are already on us on the left, but I gotta give all my orders. You man drop into square. Yeah, so it's a reinforcing Russian army on the right flank. That engineer unit's going to be done for. I'm fairly content to let my 
uh, howitzers engage, or my foot artillery engage whatever targets they see fit. These skirmishers that are fireable off are going to be fireable on. They're going to land a devastatingly accurate volley into the engineers. They're already wavering. Bring out my general to the center. Let's begin. Lifeguard Chaban, attack the militia. Let's begin to surround this large concentration here. The U Men melee attack this unit of line infantry. My Marines get over here. This infantry push up. My Freikorps cavalry are engaging a unit of dragoons. Okay, this unit can threaten the enemy right flank. Enemy unit of militia coming in on the right flank. My marines charge the enemy on the flank. You men engage the hussars. You guys are both against the militia, so you should be good. Marines hit this militia in the rear. So my general's here. He is going to commit. So we've got a bit of a crust here of enemy units. So I'm hoping a cavalry charge will provide just enough of a factor to tip them over the edge. Because now they're being attacked in the rear. Push on, push on. New men push on into the line infantry. You men spin around and form up. Form a new defensive line. My cavalry has won the day. So they can also advance guns ready. You're still fighting our regiment of horse and another regiment of horse. I mean, heavy cavalry, man. Can't, can't complain about heavy cavalry. Format. Pull my infantry back. Well, not my infantry, my cavalry, rather. Push my skirmish cavalry forward. You may drop into square because they're coming right at you. Cavalry's pushing up on, up on the right flank. Form square. You may advance. You may advance. Okay, you guys aren't really needed there. God, that's my heavy cavalry, not my skirmish cavalry. Form. Form line advance up into the enemy's face. You can get out of your square. Form up. Okay, this artillery back here. Engage a unit of militia that sat there covering. My skirmish cavalry commit into the enemy line. Get my engineers up here just in case they need to do some more scrapping. Push these cavalry forward, fire will off. Okay, you men can advance up towards the enemy militia. Pretty good order. It looks like we do have enemy... Well, there's Polish cavalry in the distance, so let's... You men can advance. The Jaegers can advance up to about here, potentially deploy stakes. But apart from that... You men, this cavalry may come over, come back over towards the other fight. 
actually let's not do that because I'll just just that puts my general through a bit of stake instead of um, spikes so let's play stakes with my Jaeger to give them somewhere safe to withdraw to you and keep fighting the 34th regiment of horse I'm curious yeah they're not screwing around and then they've got some engineers who aren't very far away they're knackered very tired play stakes so my light infantry can push begin to skirmish the enemy Polish cavalry the militia have been engaged with musket fire you can advance to threaten the flank of the Polish the flank of the militia you men can also push up to threaten enemy let's ever so slowly creep my infantry forward I don't think the Dragoons want to fight my engineers are now in against the regiment of horse and we've done a lot of damage here to give everyone a group order to advance up flank enemy Polish cavalry uh, I was gonna was gonna perform a mighty charge but they've shattered as has the militia and the concentrated artillery fire that's a lot of dead but that was a good action that was a good action that secured an enemy town excellent uh, you've retreated in okay direction so I guess see let's repair you men replenish brand's allowed to attack this concentration it's never going to be a question to actually fight that that was in simple auto resolve but you will drive on towards Crimea this one of my spies here you're pushing on towards okay you don't need to go all the way to Kazan you push on to Cherkask it looks like there aren't any Russians ahead of us, really. Let's build some better roads, although we're going to be through them pretty quick. Mr. Eichberg, hack Justin Jastrovich. That's just a one engagement against a Polish force. Let's do it. Like I said, we've got a lot of fights to do this episode. This is going to be very, very battly. Uh, I think after this, well, there's definitely definitely one more in Konigsberg. There's probably one or two more in the centre. Uh, so that's a whole lot of fights. But I think we've now got the ability to put just all of the pressure on the Russian line now. We're driving through the enemy rear positions. We can also now push them away from the front. Or advance the front line into Russian territory. So it's not as efficient, really, to have your guard infantry in the line because you end up stretching them out too thin. But I don't really mind. Elite Jaegers. Let's check these guys out. Yes, they look pretty similar, but I think the red cars and cuffs are a bit different. Which looks pretty nice. You men get a cuirassier unit, and then we get a cuirassier and a cavalry sharpshooter on the other flank. Sharpshooting off. General in the centre. Always about focusing. If I can focus my initial quick climb onto their cavalry forces, I'll be a lot happier. Especially here, where they might get a couple of double hits. Yep, some good kills, good kills. I mean, the, the trajectory for the guns is actually really bad. So effectively we want to be up here with our infantry and we're going to change our quick climb targets to be some of these infantry units form square I think my right flank drive it forward Oh, 
Light cavalry sharpshooters. Don't do anything. Play it. Actually, no, you can engage. You can engage. 11th Regiment of Foot. One kill. Ah, oh, see, look at that. They've gone straight through into my guns. Smart move by the AI to just drive straight through. But it appears they do not have strength. Although, I am going to get my, my gunners and just run away. Howitzers, attack ground, quick climb that unit in the corner. Not overly concerned about that one unit. Attacking my guns. Yeah. They drove through, which was good for them, but it wasn't going to be enough. You men storm up. Light cavalry sharpshooters, if abandon your your posts but let's begin form up they may be tempted to surround us my howitzers I mean I'm sure they can hit there there we go Fire away. Quick climb can blast him. Get my cavalry around the rear areas. Yeah, General's bodyguard, you've hit my lifeguards. I mean, I'm just so not bothered about their light. Not light cavalry, but they're not very good cavalry going after my infantry, because good infantry is, well, it's really good. This is my general's bodyguard. Now oh, they're chasing after enemy cavalry. We'll get over here. Because we got enemy infantry. I don't really care about them. They're sufficiently out of it, but I'm happy just to destroy them with quick climb. I mean, all my infantry fire will off. Howitzers can keep firing. Kill the enemy commander. New men chase down the 3rd Regiment of Foot. Slam into the back of the 11th. Ceasefire across the board. Okay, don't chase down the general's bodyguard. Go after the regiment of foot. Because I mean, my howitzers will take care of. Oh, that's my artillery crews. Okay, so wait a minute. Is that a fence? No, those are my guys. You go after the 18th, you go after the 11th. Yeah, that unit in the corner is routed. Just keep on attacking. Poland doesn't have many men as it is. Well, they don't have enough, they don't really have an empire anymore. Not in my campaign, they don't. Seven men, there's only about three there. Yep, yeah, so where's the other four? Ah, oh, they're up here. Excellent. So they are going for the, the proper ones to kill first, the ones that are furthest away from the line. There we go. Now it's just these three. There is a handful more on the map, but... There we go. And then now it's... Oh, come on, you men. Back second. So then if I bring them all together, they'll pathfind and destroy the remaining infantry. There we go. Close victory indeed. Caused some challenges, but uh, their cavalry was no match.
for our gun crews and commander. Nice. You're going to push out, but we're not necessarily going to attack you guys yet. We are going to drive you out. So we've got a fight here that we need to have. In front of Konigsberg. Against a large Russian militia contingent. Full of irregulars. So we're going to destroy them. Keep pushing them east. Don't leave them any gaps. And eventually, well next turn, definitely our other forces will be driving up through the Caucasus into uh, Chekask, not Ch yeah, Chekask, into the Don. We're going to be pushing into the enemy territory there. Rocket artillery, bombard. My gunners are probably just going to stay quiet. Take all my 225 infantry. go. Keep my Grand Air Guard on the right. Bell Jaegers are feared. Can give them some support. Combine most of my heavies on the other flank. Howitzers open up. General, stick with the heavies. But ultimately, what I want to do is just go Swarm, swarm, attack pattern, alpha. Let things open up as they may. Drive forward. I'm letting my artillery just shoot at whatever they like. It's still focusing on the horse artillery. I mean, to be honest, I might just make my howitzers fire a round shot, because then I can make them target. Target enemy, enemy militias. Rocket artillery is doing good work. We might be in a good shape here to get a, a pretty good surround off, actually. So if you men in the center drive forward and engage their force, and then with the Russians fighting fighting against like militia hordes, surrounds are that much more important because you want to be firing into them in all f at all from all directions and where possible then begin to wrap around and get around their flanks as much as you can every time they rejig their front line the better it gets Oh, good rockets right in the center of their line. Now the volley fire kicks in. And the enemy morale just plummets. That's right, charge my lines. I've got marines in here. They love a bit of that. Oh, they're trying it too. Whip my cavalry around some of my cavalry around into the center because it looks like we've just got a massive collapse Newman go after the Cossacks General go after the Cossack infantry here I mean, yeah look at that Curiosiers coming in. Howitzers and rocket artillery cease fire. Keep driving forward. Make a general's bodyguard. Chop down the Cossacks. We've got some militia attempting to try and reinforce one of the enemy units, but I'm afraid. Oh, I felt Jaeger. Felt Jaeger go for the Cossacks. Curiosier storm into the enemy. To be honest, this looks pretty dire from an enemy force perspective. Excellent. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure that's all there is all the Russians, isn't it? I was going to say, where's my end screen? All of you, fire it well off. So now, let's try and kill some units. So if you can kill the 79th, you can try and chase down the 37th. There's only two left. One left. Go for the 37th. It's all about just keep on... Keep on right-clicking, because it's always when they do the... When they kind of recheck the pathfinding, they always seem to kill a few more guys a bit quicker than they normally would. I'm not overly bothered with militia, but it's partly about kill counts. Okay. Okay, right. Well, you're definitely not going to kill all those guys. Although you're doing a really good job. Not too bad. They managed to escape. It's everyone against this regiment of Cossack Line Infantry. I'm afraid you're going to have a pretty torrid time. Because all of my cavalry is coming after you. Come on. Damn right that was decisive. Nice, nice, nice. 113 loss to 1,449 good kills. Back you go, you devils. You can raid. That's the, damage. That's the level of damage you can do, but I can deal with that. Uh, this garrison force here is going to come out and auto the rebels. Because they should imminently... But once they kill the rebels, they should be okay with my ownership of their lands. And they are. Let's repair this. Let's build a church school. Upgrade the commercial port. Let's get a light galley and upgrade some of this good infrastructure. And get Mr. Tauber replenishing this fella here, Riga. I mean, you want to stay in Riga? Well, I don't know, actually. Tech, you see, you... Hmm. You're covering both north and south of this large wood, so I'm probably not going to leave you, especially when there is a Russian army right there. So we're going to wait for Mr. Tauber to get back up to tip-top shape. This army can replenish. We're going to wait to attack this next turn, that concentration. Let's build a steam engine factory. And then right on cue, that's all of our money used up. We've got a lot of these second-rate cover armies that aren't super useful. So let's begin pushing them up. So you just walk straight into the back of him. Just walk around him. There we go. Look at the farmland, farmland with the last bit of cash we have. Good navy here. Fully kitted up. Raid this trade node. We do want to prepare for the invasion of Malta and Cagliari. But that's kind of supplemental to what's going on elsewhere at the minute. We do want to repair these buildings too. Yeah, all of you guys, I mean we're not going to move... This army out of Blissey anytime soon. Because a big amount of clamour for reform. There's not a lot we can do until we destroy that university. Right, okay. Cool. So you're still in the garrison. You should be okay. You're okay. You could theoretically go for Moscow, but I like the idea of surrounding them. I'd like to push these forces north. Attack the enemy forces southwest of St. Petersburg and then close off this gap here. I'd like that. But Laval and Minsk are looking within our grasp, as is Crimea. In terms of tech. Ooh, interesting. Oh yeah, that's the Georgian one. Nope, don't worry about that. A lot of traits have been great gained. General of infantry. Plus 10% infantry movement range. Plus three command when leading infantry units, minus one to morale in battles. Ah, But he is also an aggressive attacker. As is Jakob Leitner. 
Frederick Guy's rumours of cowardice. Who is that? This guy, he doesn't have rumours of cowardice. He's a confident general, he's a soldier from birth. Dear, oh dear. Right, let's hit end turn. Because that was a mighty busy turn. But yeah, so Poland I'm not super concerned about. They're, they're scattering raiding forces around. But their actual centre of gravity is pretty weak. Their cities are not very well protected. Well, I mean, apart from their capital, their other territory is pretty weak. But it looks like they're going around to cover... Mos oh, where have you come from? Oh, you're going to take... Okay, right. They're going to take Petrovskaya. <laughs> so you, good sir, are going to cause the death of some really good artillery. And a bunch of Polish soldiers, because you're going to attack me defending my bridge. Well, looking at the timer... I think I'm going to end the episode here, so that next time we can start off with a bridge battle, because we haven't had those, we haven't had one of those for a very long time. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the death of the troops to covering Moscow, because Alexei Bonyatowski has supreme confidence in his abilities. See you everyone. <laughs>